Hi everyone, so what we are trying to do here is I have an RF remote um, so which has four buttons A, B, C, D and the goal of this project is when I press a button say A I should be able to see what button I pressed uh, through my program right? and the way we are going to do this is what we have here is a software defined radio SDR which has like an antenna and a USB and so the antenna basically you know reads all the radio frequencies that are going on so when I you know press a button it will read, read uh, the frequency and pass it through the USB onto the computer and what we you're seeing right now here is a tool called GNU radio which basically is the software to kind of understand the data that is coming through the antenna right so uh, and the way this works is you know it, it reads all the data uh, from the antenna and writes it to a file and then my program try analyze this data that is coming streaming through in from from the antenna to see if you know it sees patterns of the buttons or not okay so let me first run my program so here you can see you know it's waiting for the data file to be generated so now let's go back to GNU radio and just hit the play button so while this loads up um, so what you see here is this is a waterfall uh, a chart uh, which basically shows you you know what radio frequencies this antenna is catching here and if something is there you know you will show here also so suppose I press let's say the button A so it says A here I just press the button A right and so you can see here that some waveforms have been captured and here I see the output of my program says button A is pressed let's say I press button B now I see some more waveforms here and then button B is pressed here shows up so I do C so you see waveforms and you know you see button C here D D here I can hold on to a button say let's say I keep holding on to A uh, I see lots of waveforms and A keeps printing so so this is a real time demo of you know whichever button you press um, you know the tool is able to tell you uh, so I press D again at the bottom I see D alright so now um, you know I just decoded one more remote so this is the remote of my heater which turns on my heat you know on and off um, button A button B it uses a similar you know pulse encoded uh, waveforms that you see so uh, again in this one operates at 433 megahertz the one that I showed you previously operates on 315 megahertz so just uh, starting the capture again for 433 megahertz once this goes up okay so now you know same I press the top button button A you know I see a waveform here and on this side it shows button A is pressed so let's say I press the second one B you know I see B and then I say A again it says A A again A and then if I keep pressing B so I see B if I hold on to B you know it, it tracks in real time lots of waveforms are seen so yeah so that's a quick live demo so in case you're curious how this works is um, so so basically when you press a button you see these different patterns right so if you zoom into a pattern let's see how this looks like um, so this is how it looks like when I press a button right so you see there are two types of pulses one is a white pulse and one is a narrow pulse one represents a one the other one represents a zero it doesn't really matter which one is what let's call the wider one as one and the narrow one as zero so this is basically zero 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 one 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 zero one 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 zero and so on right so that's the code for button A similarly if I press button B uh, there is I see a different code so these two buttons have unique codes right uh, so the way the code works is I'm getting this raw stream of values this uh, values so these all these are samples like there's like two million samples per second so a huge number of samples that are coming in right so I initially do some processing remove the noise and stuff like that so uh, and then so you know these values become zero this values let's say become one so there are, there are thousands of samples in between so it's like zero 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 one 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 and then zero 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 and so on right um, so and then what I do is uh, I do an edge detection so when you know I, I detect which position the pulse went from zero to one and so that's a rising edge and then at which position you know it went from uh, 1 to 0 that's a falling edge right 
So once I have uh, the positions at which the exchanges happen, so in at sample 1000 it went up and then 1200 went down, I subtract the falling edge position from rising edge position to get the pulse weight, right? So if the weight is greater than certain threshold, then it's the symbol 1, and if it's the width is less than the threshold, then it's the symbol 0. By symbol 1 and symbol 0, I mean, you know, this wide pulse and narrow pulse, right? So, so the data stream is flowing through in, and I do this analysis, you know, on the on the file. So that gives me um, the uh, sim the width of the pulses that are coming in. So you know, think of it as zero 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 one one one. So that's a stream that is flowing in. And in this uh, flowing stream, I try to see if I saw uh, the pattern for a particular button or not. So as soon as it sees, okay, the uh, data has the data stream has a pattern for a button a it prints out button a if it sees uh, for button b it prints out button b if it doesn't find anything it doesn't do anything so it's just uh, every 100 milliseconds you know it goes through the data stream that is coming and analyzes that so yeah that's how it works so yeah hope you like the video uh, thanks for watching bye